Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here for a news update on Dokkan Battle. So um, we have a lot of information over here and I was available last night. I did see the uh, new update that came out while I was actually recording the video I released last night um, with the new LR Beers and We will be talking about them in this video. Uh, but as of right now, we are gonna go and jump into finally, finally global side dupe system. I'm super hyped about this, so I apologize if this is too loud. I'm going to lower it on the actual screen right now. Um, we finally get the update to the dupe system where we can select one orb all the way wherever we want to go in order to fill in the path. I am so happy they finally are releasing this. It's coming out tonight, guys. So keep that in mind, by the way, when you're going to uh, play. We are going to have a, a scheduled maintenance tonight. Um, so... You, if you, make sure you use your stamina <laughs> before the night ends, or make sure you go and do what you want to do before the actual update starts. Uh, it's going to take a while. I don't have the exact hours. I believe it said it starts like around like uh, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, something like that, EST. So um, it's going to be starting pretty early. Unless it's PST, but either way, it's still going to be starting a little bit earlier than normal. Um, this is the system, or this is the update, that allows you to select, like, whatever you want at the end. So, like, if I wanted to select this uh, healer over here, this healing item, everything up until that point will get selected. Then you can hit go and we'll use all the orbs. Uh, definitely allow, makes it a lot easier to do. If, I know I posted up on Facebook the other day. I have over, like, 10,000 small of each one. Um, some of, like, 15, 20,000. Uh, I have a lot. I have so many ridiculous amount of orbs. And I just didn't want to go and do it because everyone's like, oh, it only takes about 20, 30 minutes. You know, I'm like, yeah. And some person was trying to tell me it takes 10 minutes. I'm like, no, no, it does not take 10 minutes to 100% a unit. Um, I, I just was not doing that whole thing. It's just a pain in the butt. It makes so much more sense just to wait. Especially because why do we need, why do I need personally to go feed into the dupe system when I could beat most events, you know? Uh, this will definitely help me out with Super Battle Road. And again, that's not something I really need. Uh, I did the Hybrid Saiyan Banner Summons last night. I did uh, two multis on that. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. It's towards like the middle end of the video. Uh, so if you're interested in those summons, go ahead. But yes, we are finally there. This is also the uh, Dokkan Battle official page. So shout out to uh, the Facebook page, dokkanbattle.dbz. If you guys aren't following them over there, go ahead, follow the page, like the page. Also, shout out to the Reddit. Shout out to Twitter. Um, well, actually, this is, I don't even know who this is, my, uh, my underscore FGC. Um, shout out to dbz.space for all the information and stuff that I'm going to be talking about here. Um, the, the JP side also, by the way, has a data download. So we're moving away from global. We're all back on the JP side now. Um, the rest of this stuff is going to be about the JP update. We have new, um, we have the new data download. We have an STR Beerus, an, S an STR SSR Beerus, his TUR variant, and then his LR variant. So we finally have a, uh, I was going to say Weerus, uh, Weiss and Beerus that uh, are now LR, so we that's really awesome. Apparently, they're really good units. I have not actually read their stats yet or any information about them, so I'll be doing this live with you the first time I read it. We also are getting the Rage Vegeta banner with the Rage Vegeta event. That's the My Balma Vegeta uh, and his agility um, counterpart. So the one that's far, free to play is going to be here as well. If you haven't seen my global video, go ahead and do it. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do another analysis on the JP side. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, but it is available on the JP side as of right now, so you can go ahead and play that if you want to. That's really awesome. That's aw I'm really happy that that event's there. Um, that Vegeta is really awesome, by the way. So for those of you on the JP side, as you guys probably already know, um, this is the Vegeta that I'm talking about. He counters, so uh, he's a pretty damn awesome unit. I'm personally a big fan of this Vegeta. Um, I have him. I have two dupe pads unlocked. Actually, it's funny because when he came out, I saw him and I saw that he countered and how awesome he was for like a Super Saiyan Vegeta card. I, I went ham so I can get uh, two dupes on him. And I did, so I'm really happy about that. <laughs> um, you also have the Intelligence be uh, Beerus that is available here as well. Um, so we actually have information over here. I, I was actually going to go use a different post for that because it's like more, uh, I like this over here. I guess they don't have the link, so it's not that big of a deal though. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the card. By the way, let us uh, let me actually find what the unit looks like. I know I have it over here. This is the, uh, the Beerus. This is his SSR variant. Uh, pretty look, look, cool looking card art. I like it. Um, he's pretty damn set up. He has some really nice uh, stats, especially when you throw the orb system into him. This is his TUR variant. I personally really like his TUR variant. It's really maniacal. It's crazy. I like it. I love how they call him Bill. <laughs> um, so that's that. Let's see. With max orbs. Yeah, he's still got some nice uh, some nice stats. And then you have this epicness. I love it how they're like in space right now. Uh, Beerus and Whis just sitting there like mad casual, nonchalant, about to kill people. 
Uh, look at that. Look at those stats with the max dupe system. 21,000, 20,000, and almost 16,000. He is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Anyway, those are the that's the actual card art. Um, in terms of the stats, let's see. Uh, for his SSR variant, super strength type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%, extreme strength type key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 50, super attack judgment of the god of destruction, supreme damage to the enemy. Okay, whatever. Passive skill, attack plus 60% of the start of the turn. After getting attacked, attack and defense plus 40% for three turns. What? Wait, what? That's actually really good. Huh. That's interesting. All right, cool. So that's what? That's 120% after getting attacked. So 120, that's 180% attack buff and 120% defense buff. That's ridiculous. And he's part of the Realm of Gods and Movie Boss categories. So that's pretty awesome. His TUR variant is going to be Super Strength Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. Extreme Strength Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 60%. All right. Super Attack Judgment of the God of Destruction it causes immense damage to the enemy now. That's awesome. What is wrong? This guy's so broken. Passive attack plus 70% at the start of the turn. After getting attacked, attack and defense plus 50% for five turns. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I thought he he got that attack buff every single time he got attacked up to three times. Um, I was like, wait, this is way too broken. Uh, apologies. So his SSR variant is 100% attack and 40% defense. Okay. Um, so some of you are probably in the comments right now saying, hey, you stupid, reread it. <laughs> I just woke up. I just got to, I literally, I woke up, I jumped in the shower and I came here to record a video. So I'm, I apologize. That's not really an excuse. You know what a really good excuse is? I'm, I'm only about a quarter way done with my energy drink. So uh, I'm not fully awake. <laughs> uh, attacking defense plus 50% for five turns. That's still not that bad though. So that's 120% attack buff. Uh, category is realm of gods and movie bosses. His LR variant, Harmony through Destruction, Beerus, and Weiss. Okay. Uh, his leader skill is Super Type Strength, um, Super Strength Type, Key plus 4. HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. That's pretty nice. They definitely need that with the key because they're LRs. Extreme Strength Type, Key plus 2. HP Attack and Defense plus 70%. All right. Um, 12 key, 12 to 17 key, Finger Flick. Causes Colossal Damage, Restores Health by 7%. Okay, that's cool. They Their they're health regeneration, that's really nice. Uh, 18 to 24 key, Judgment of the God of Destruction, Mega Colossal Damage, Restores Health by 12%. Okay, um, passive attack plus 80% at the start of the turn. After getting attacked, attack and defense plus 60% for 5 turns. Okay, uh, that's not that bad. That's what, that's a 140% attack buff with Colossal Damage, uh, plus a 24 key multiplier. So they're going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, and assuming you're running them, I mean, you could throw them on a Realm of Gods team. Uh, that would be really legitimate. You would have a lot of health there, so 12% health on that team would be, that would be a lot. Um, movie bosses, it would work well too. Uh, I think I read a Reddit post about it, and if you throw them on a movie boss's team specifically, um, they are going to lack key, but they'll get at least some really nice buffs from the Turles, and they'll do some, a ridiculous amount of damage. So, but this is a really awesome card. Honestly, I really hope I can pull him. Uh, I'm not going to, honestly, I'm not going to go for him. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, just getting a modded account or something like that so I could just, like, play with him just for the heck of it. Um, so, I, I know I always do this, and, and I had had it mentioned in my comments the way I talk about Bleach, like, I like the game better. Um, in terms of gameplay, I definitely do, and what they give to us, I definitely do, but Dragon Ball Z definitely trumps Bleach, in my opinion, in terms of my favorite. Uh, the thing is, like, in Bleach Brave Souls, when new characters come out, as soon as they come out, they let you test play the characters in a, a simulated battle. So it's not like you actually take them out on real events, but you can go and you can take out, um, that you can do a test and you get like 100 runs or whatever, uh, and you can go and you just play with the unit and set it up with whoever you want on a team. Um, so I feel like if they were to do that when new units came out, like a test play function, where you just go up against uh, like a moderate boss with like three health bars or something like that, and you bring them, so that way you can at least play with the new units so you can get a feel for how they are. I feel like that would be so awesome. Uh, but they don't do that, so unfortunately you can't do that. So modded accounts, or if you just find, if you're lucky enough to find a friend, I think I'll be fine because I, I could definitely find a friend so I could play with them. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, really awesome card. I really like that new LR. Let's see, and oh, the uh, the new, the fit, not the new, the old SR physical Whis finally gets a Doken Waking to SSR. They, he should at least be at Super Attack 10 by now, guys. Uh, if you happen to pull like a couple of them and you're not really, if you're free to play, what I would recommend doing is just keep getting one and then keeping all four dupe pads if you want to put dupe system into him for the Dokening. Um, and you get the free Intel uh, Agility Whis from the Hero Extermination event. 
Um, so you can go and increase his super attack. I believe it's like 100% because he's an SR and you're feeding an SSR into an SR. It should be 100% to increase the super attack of this guy. So you can just go grind out 9 of those weeks, increase his super attack to 10. And then Doken Awaken him. When you Doken Awaken him, and then you can Doken Awaken the other four. Or that way you can feed the dupe system into him. If you want to. I'm not saying you have to. Uh, this guy, though, I love his new Doken Awakening. He's going to make a lot of events a lot easier for physical unit. Um, so leader skill. Physical type key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 50%. So for those of you who are brand new to the game, this is going to be a really good leader skill. Or really good leader ability. If you're just starting out for the older events. Uh, those type of stat buffs are just ridiculous. I mean... Honestly, you could probably, you could definitely take on 70% leader events with that skill as well. So you can definitely go up against all the OG events and all the 70% events. Um, I don't think it's going to help you out though on the 120 events. Maybe it will if you don't have anyone else and you find a good friend lead, but that's about it. Um, super attack, prelude to destruction, supreme damage, may stun the enemy, so that's pretty cool. Passive skill, when HP is 30% or above, attack and defense plus 40%. Um, I feel like I really wish that this week's was uh, team support, that would have been awesome. Uh, you're not going to be using this Whis for that at all, though. Um, you're going to be using this Whis on a team, and this is the only time he comes in uh, viable. When HP is 30% or below, he restores HP fully once. It's just like that agility Whis that we used on the Extreme Z Awakening for the Broly event, um, and, and pretty much anything else you need an agility team on. Um, if you cannot use items or you need to conserve health, this will definitely help you out. So, I highly recommend getting this guy Doken Awaken. He's going to be really good. I actually have him on the global side at Super Attack 10. Uh, and now, if I pull any additional ones, I will definitely be saving them so I can get Dupe System involved. I probably won't do anything with the Dupe System. Maybe I'll just throw some defense in there, um, just so that way he tanks better. Maybe I'll give him some dodge. I don't know. But um, that's pretty much it. Category Realm of God. So, that's going to be awesome. By the way, the LR, Destruction, Beerus, and Whis. It's literally the name of the cards, Beerus and Whis. So you could link them with any Beerus or Whis card. So um, if you want to bring the Doken exclusive Strength Beerus with you and the Support Intelligence Whis with you, you can do that and you can have both of them, all, all three of them on the same team and they will link very, very well together. Uh, I will be doing a full team building guide for you guys in the future. So when that becomes available on Doken Battle Builder, I did just check, it's not there yet. When it becomes available on Doken Battle Builder, I will definitely do that because I'm actually really interested to see what happens. Um, I do have the um, the super attacks here, so let's go ahead and full screen this real quick. Um, let's put the volume up, and let's go ahead and watch this. This is their super attack, their 12 key. Alright, I like that. I think it was pretty cool. Um... No, this is the this is the Vegeta. <laughs> um, we already know what those are. I'm not going to do that because there's just too much. Um, so let's go over here. I personally like their 18 key a little bit better, obviously, because it's their 18 key multiplier. Uh, 18 key super attack. Let's go start over here from the beginning. So we start out with them putting a ball around a Broly, which is pretty awesome. It's just Whis putting a ball around him. Oh, yeah, look at that. And the Beerus is like, you know, get the hell out of here. Whis is like, yeah, no, you're done. And then the God of Destruction. It's funny, though, how, like, how OP beers has to be that's just so epic i love it how <laughs> this is the best part i was about to say like that's the best part of the end like just chilling over here beers just gets pissed off at we for eating ice cream without him look at that that's so awesome that has to be one of my favorite parts i wish we could just like i can get that one part so i can make that my um uh the actual thumbnail for the video <laughs> i might do that i might screen cap that Anyway, those are the two super attacks I wanted to show you. I don't think we have the strength we one, so let me go over here to this to this right here. Uh, this is new super attack animations. We don't have the physical uh, we so I can't show you that. Uh, but whatever, it's not that bad. This is pretty cool. I do enjoy. I do like the new uh, animations. I think this card's really awesome. I I have not been wailing out on Dokkan, so I can't really do anything I, 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 for the game Bandai Namco. Is not getting any more money from me. At least not a lot of money like I used to wail out. Uh, but that's good. Uh, anyway, this Whis is pretty freaking awesome. This is the SR variant, by the way. I brought him up just so that way I could show you his SR variant if you guys are interested in it. Um, this is the one you could pull. He's available on both the global and the JP side. You know he's available on global because I have him up. If you see up over here, it's not jpn.dbz.space. Um, this is his new Dokkan variant, and that's what he looks like. So, pretty awesome card. I really like it. I can't wait for him to Dokkan Awaken. Um, the banner is live on JP, by the way, so shout out to Rowler Z. Uh, this is what's going to be available. You, it looks like you have all the standard tunes that are on there, so that way you can pull. Um, I think it's double chance for SSR. I highly recommend doing it, guys. Uh, I actually really enjoy both of these units. I, I'm honestly considering, because I do have a Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Goku on the JP side. 
I'm highly, highly considering pulling on this banner for this Vegeta and this Beerus because both of those units are so freaking awesome. Um, I think outside of that, oh, we did have the full power Frieza event. Uh, I'm not going to go over the full guide. I just wanted to say, because I have not done a video about it, I will be doing a full video about it. It is the Namek Saga, so thank you guys in the comments um, on my last video for letting me know. It did say it here on the Reddit also, so shout out to the Reddit as well. Uh, Namek Saga, I think, in terms of what I just saw really quickly, um, the, like the actual, oh, look, here we go. Uh, great team for this event, Super Saiyan 4 Goku Leader, Kid Gohan, which is a support unit. Uh, I'm sorry, no, this isn't a support unit. Um, he's a good hard hitter, apparently. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, who tanks? Yes, the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma, maybe. Um, he he won't tank that well on level 30. I don't think he's going to be great for this. Uh, the Rage Goku, definitely. Uh, Vegito Blue, maybe. Um, the That's about it. And then maybe a friend leader over here. I, I mean, here's the thing. I personally think that the, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is definitely going to come in handy for you. You definitely want him because he will be tanking everything. Kid Gohan is Namek Saga, and the Super Saiyan Goku, hard hitter, he is also Namek Saga. Uh, so that definitely helps you out. But at that point, it's like, who else do you want to bring with you? Um, there's a lot of different units that you could possibly bring that's Namek Saga uh, friendly. Um, if this is Nam Namek Saga category, you have the Kid Gohan lead, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Full Power Frieza. Uh, Jice, who is there for support. I think Jice, actually, I had mentioned, and Full Power for LR Frieza. So, oh, that's what it was. I mentioned LR Frieza and Kuriza. Kuriza would be there just to link with LR Frieza, just so that way you can, um, you know, get off harder super attacks. I don't know how well that would play out. Uh, because Kuriza would be would be demolished if when he gets hit. Um, he's definitely not part of the Namek Saga. But that would be a pretty good setup. And this is honestly a really nice setup in my opinion. Um, so it would be Kuriza or Full Power Frieza. Uh, because it's a Full Power Frieza event. You were going up against the physical unit. I think you should be fine. Um, this is a good setup over here as well. With the Kid Gohan Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. They both tank. Well, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta tanks. Kid Gohan's part of the category. So he will tank better. He will do a lot more damage output. Uh, the two freezes are part of the Namek Saga, so you could definitely destroy with them too. Um, and I mean, it, it, he does more damage against extreme types, but you could at least have that there for you. Um, outside of that, um, let's see over here, Super Strength. So Super Strength looks like, yeah, pretty much the same, well, what I would normally run on a Super Strength team. But I don't think that that's going to be a good option for us once you get to like level 30. But let me know what you guys have done down in the comments below. If you're playing the JP side of Dokkan Battle, have you gotten to level 30? If so, how have you done so far? Tournament of Power Team, I don't think is going to take this on that well, by the way. I really don't. Um, I think because you're going to have this, you're not going to, Kaba's not going to get his benefits. Um, or, sorry, the, the support Kaba isn't going to do anything. Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa isn't going to do anything because she's not going to be able to dodge um, as well. Yeah, you're, you're definitely not going to do well on this. You might get lucky, but I don't know. But, uh, wow, this is a very in-depth full power freezer guide. I'll put this in the link of my description below. Um, and, yes, thank you guys for letting me know in the comments below. The links in my description, not all of them are up to date. I have not updated them in a long time, so I will definitely be taking care of that very, very soon. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'm super hyped for the dupe system. I mean, all the stuff on the JP side, I'm more hyped for the damn dupe system update on global. <laughs> like, that's how bad it is for me. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.